Hello students, if you are watching this, it is because you have a substitute teacher today filling in for Mr. Flick and oh, I'm so glad that someone can come there and take care of you while I'm gone. Maybe I'm sick, maybe I have an appointment, maybe I got delayed somewhere. I don't know why there's a sub there, but you know why. Okay, so here's a couple things you need to realize. First of all, there's 45 different Tech 2s that are going on here, and your poor substitute teacher is just not going to understand all the different nuances to every little Tech 2 there is out there. So, what do you do? Number one, really focus on being a self-directed learner. If you, if you don't understand something, go back and watch that tutorial video. Go to my website. Trust my website. Many students before you have done these Tech 2s, and we've worked out all the little kinks in them so go back watch the videos read the descriptions and really focus on that normally you can just like ask me and I'll answer a question about the tech 2 but if you have a sub today really focus on being a strong self-directed learner if you get stuck on something maybe you might want to ask someone around you socially distancing and everything but ask someone if they maybe know uh, what a problem might be or how to solve a problem you can do that but now if everything goes kaputs and let's say you're on the sewing machine over there and it just stops working i mean who knows how to fix the sewing machine right i mean it's just weird right so rather than just sit there for the next you know 40 minutes and then the next class and the next class um, you might just want to move on to something different so pick a different tech two that you can do from wherever you're sitting so if you're that person at the sewing machine and it stops working then go work on graphic design or go work on 3D design, something like that, okay? So I hope to get a wonderful, and I know I will, get a wonderful report back from the substitute teacher, how you've just worked hard, you helped each other out, you stayed socially distanced, you did all the right things, and I really appreciate it. It just warms my heart knowing that you guys are taking care of yourselves in my classroom while I need this little time away. So good luck. If I have the ability to maybe answer your questions, you might want to email me, but if I'm like sick and sleepy and all those kind of things, trying to get over a cold or something and I'm not checking my email, then I can't help you. But if I'm just delayed in an airport somewhere, maybe I can and answer an email. So if you have a question, try emailing me and we'll see if that works. Okay, take care and I will see you in a few days.